It's 12 o'clock at night. I'm in the middle of freaking nowhere in the Egyptian desert and somewhere on me is the hub. How did I get here? What the heck am I doing here? Those are very interesting questions and the answers you will find if you watch the video till the end. Hello and good morning again from the busy streets of Cairo. As you guys previously know from the last video, I have a couple of days here to kill in Egypt till I have to fly out. So I was thinking what to do and in my mind Luxor came up because it's very well known for the Valley of the Kings and for the, all the other historical uh, places that you can visit. But then again I went to the train station to try to book some train tickets and it was a bit complicated. If you want to get a ticket to Luxor or to Aswan or to Alexandria or to anywhere else as a foreigner, you have to go to the foreigner ticket office and at the foreigner ticket office the lady is gonna sell you the tickets but only in US dollars or euro. She said 30 dollars, 30 euros, whatever, which sounds a bit fishy to me. Nevertheless, she said that uh, for sleeper tickets I have to go downstairs to check those available because they cannot give them here, I have to go downstairs and check them as well. After the first office, I went to the second office downstairs and they told me that the ticket to go to Luxor with the night train is around $90. So considering the fact that flight back and forth is $85, it's not really worth it to go $90 with the train for 10 hours, even though you get a chance to sleep on it. So. I kept thinking what to do and what to do and what to do and I met some nice people last night. They told me better go to the hub. It's a nice quaint town nearby the beach at the Red Sea and I looked online, booked my ticket to Sharm el Sheikh. Okay, enough updates from me to you. Probably by now you're a bit bored. I'm gonna go now to one of my favorite places to have here some uh, breakfast falafel and after that I'm gonna go explore a little bit Egypt before I catch my flight to go to Sharm el Sheikh. Ooh, it smells so good. I love coming here every time I'm around this area because the food is amazing. You have falafel, you have shawarma, you have a lot of stuff, you have pizzas, you have everything you want, which sounds like fast food, but trust me, it's better than fast food. Um, one falafel. Hello, Hello again. Thank you! Bye-bye! Bye-bye! Okay. Hello! Goodbye! Okay, very nice and friendly people. Every time I come here and I meet with them, they always say hello to me, they always say, Hey, this is Sheikh Mohammed. Hey, this is Falafel Guy. This is Mr. Sheikh, Mr. Ahmad. Every time they introduce themselves to each other. And now that I got my food, let me try out the falafel. Mm. Oh yes. This is the perfect way to start the day. My country? Under zero? Uh, no, now in my country under zero. Now it's snow. Very cold. Yeah, in the, uh, north of France. North of France? North of France. Yes. I went five, five days ago there. Okay. Seven days. Yes. I don't go outside. Hey, very good. I, 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 I die, man. Yeah. Very hot for me. Yes. No, now the weather is perfect. I, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just a t shirt yeah. and shorts. Artist? Are you artist? No. I'm an artist, but because you look the artist. I'm a, ah, I'm, thank you. I'm working as you can in Modern okay. inside the opera. Nice. No, I'm just traveling around yeah. and. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. How hard. long have you been here? I've been one week so far in Egypt. One say more time? Yes, I go now to Sharm el Sheikh and to the Dahab. Yeah, Dahab is a month, but go to Asala. Asala? Asala. Okay. It's the best one, I go there. Thai very good, good. Very okay, clean. I will see. Let's yeah. see if I have time. My name is Friday. When you need any help, I have art gallery behind the hotel. Okay. You're welcome anytime you need me. Welcome. Thank you, my friend. Can I give you my business card if you don't mind? You give uh, no, I have no something to do. Okay. Thank you. Have Bye. a nice one. Bye. Okay. People are uh, very friendly here in Cairo just sitting down on one of these benches and uh, chilling and the guy comes to me he's like are you cold no i'm not cold and then you saw the rest of the conversation interesting
since I didn't have anything much to do and today is a Sunday, I have decided to come and visit the Coptic Hanging Church here in Cairo, which is supposed to be the oldest church in Egypt. It's dating from the 3rd century and it's called the Hanging Church because it used to be on top of a fortress, the fortress of Babylon, built by Emperor Trajan. So now it's somehow above, it has some staircase that leads inside the church and the church is very old, it's mostly out of wood and it has a lot of interesting icons. So yeah, pretty interesting thing to visit on a Sunday. There's a big complex here which is called the Fortress of Babylon and it looks like this from this side. Okay. And you can see the church from here. The church is all the way somewhere there in the back where you see the bars. That used to be the church. And from the church you have the nice view over towards me. So this was once a fortress of Babylon built by the Romans and on top of it, poof, church appeared in the 3rd centuries. And right next to the hanging church you have the church of St. George, which uh, is Greek Orthodox and it is built right inside the fortress of Babylon or kind of around the fortress, in between the fortress. It's a bit confusing. You can see the church actually behind me and uh, it's a round church, it was built in the 10th century and is equally as beautiful as the hanging one. And opposite of it, you have this area which is supposed to be an uh, old Greek cemetery and it looks like this. You have here a mausoleum with a Greek name. Eofionios, Eofionios, something, something. I cannot read Greek that well. And uh, way behind there, behind that gate, supposedly there's another church called the Church of Saint Mary. And it looks like this. Pretty interesting as well. So here in this whole area nearby the metro station, you have a huge, 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 huge complex of very old Coptic churches from the time of the 3rd, 10th century. That's mind-blowing. And they were so well preserved around here. Interesting. Very interesting. I like uh, Cairo in a way because even in the old city center I noticed that uh, there's a church right next to a mosque. So that goes to show you that people here, doesn't matter what religion they are, they kind of get along well together with each other. Muslims and Christians, one big happy family. The only thing which is confusing for me is the fact that for most of the churches that I've seen here so far in uh, Egypt, they always are fenced in. So there's always some guards around them. Very interesting. Other than that, I know. Now I'm inside the cemetery, and the cemetery looks like this. Interesting. Mausoleums and Greek writing. Oikomenia Argarazia. I think. Interesting. We've been to a cemetery in the Philippines. Now I am in a cemetery in Cairo. Very, very interesting. Oh man, this whole area around here is massive. I mean, now I'm somehow in another cemetery. There's a lot of burial houses and graves nearby me. And there's a lot of streets here that go and twist and turn and there are shops around there's a book exhibition there's a painting exhibition even here and there's a lot of small little houses that don't look like anything but if you go inside the door there's a church there so very interesting and in this whole compound there's even a synagogue and i went inside this one as well but out of all the places that you can visit around here, this is the only place where you cannot take pictures. I heard the German guy near me and he was saying the same thing. Why is the synagogue the only place that doesn't allow pictures inside? I don't know. Maybe you can tell me in the comment section. Okay?
this has been interesting as a Sunday trip to go and see the churches. It kind of reminded me a bit of home because most of the churches are Orthodox and they are kind of like back in Romania. But that being said, I think it's time for me to go because I have a plane to catch and I have to go get my backpack and then go to the airport. So, to the miracle of editing, poof, I am at the airport. The taxi driver, Hani, he was a super nice guy. He stopped at all the places along the way and he told me, take out your camera, you have to film this, you have to film this, this is very important. Yeah. This is a very nice, very nice place. This is a Baron Castle. Okay. Baron, he is Baron. building this area. Your okay. wife, Indian. And my wife, Indian? Yes. Okay. Baron de Mark. Baron Mban. Mban. Mban, yes. Mban, okay, interesting. Yes. I had no idea. <laughs> and now that I'm at the airport, I have to find my way around here. I know the flight is at 6 and now it's 5. So I have to figure out where I have to go and uh, something tells me that maybe that way. One thing which was interesting and worth mentioning was the fact that when I came inside this area here, there was a baggage check and I put my bag to the machine and the guy, he was like very confused that I have coins with me. So he made me open my bag and show him my collection of coins. And when I showed it to him, he was like, okay, you can go. Like, what was the whole purpose of me taking out everything out of my bag just to show you the coins? He's like, I like coins. Interesting. Is this a thing here in, uh, in uh, Egypt with coins at the airport? You cannot travel with them or do they really like coins? I don't understand. But maybe you can tell me in the comments, I'm waiting for your messages. And just like that, time to grab the bags and head towards the bus and towards the plane. Because the plane is leaving and not without me. like that we have finally arrived in the beautiful airport of Sharm el Sheikh and now comes the fun part of looking around here for a bus no baggage to check only exit okay okay so far so good I need to find now a bus to take me to Dahab. Let's see if there's an information point here. I can ask. If not, I don't know. Hello. Do you know if there's a bus to Dahab? Dahab? Yes. Um, um, taxi. Taxi? Mm. Only by taxi? Uh, outside. Outside? Yeah. Okay, thank you. A few moments later. Okay, development of the situation. Uh, there was one nice guy getting inside the airport now. And he told me that I can walk all the way to the outside of the area here. Which is the airport area. And then try to find the shuttle service, micro van, blue bus thingamajig. And with the blue bus, shuttle van, micro service thingamajig, whatever go all the way to Roy Sat bus station and from there the hub so thank you unknown hero you are the best because the guys here working at the airport information niet niet gabaril pa ingliski gabaril stolka pa ruski interesting people here speak russian looks like i find a minibus let's see if this is gonna take me hello I need to go to Roysat bus station. Roysat bus station. 
English? English, yes. Uh, Royston bus station for uh, the hub. That? Yes. Ah, can I come with you to the end of the street? Thank you. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Otherwise, long way to walk. Thank you. Bye bye. Okay, and now I have to go this way. Oh. <coughs> you want to go to bus station, yes? Yes. Okay. You go to Hainu. Hainur. Yes. The bus, where is, uh, like, you know, you are from here? No, I'm not from here. Not from here. Okay. okay, to go to, to, to tell the. To tell him, yes. Uh, to go to Hainu. Go bus. Okay, yes, go, bus. go bus. Go bus. Yes. And where do I take the van from or whatever? You have to go uh, just uh, like uh, service. Service, yes. Service. Where do I take the service? Over there. Over there? Yeah. Yeah. Over there. Yeah. Okay. You found like the same one, other one. Okay. Yeah. The same, uh, this, uh, this ring. Circle. Yeah. Another circle. Yes, other circle. Okay. Thank you, my friend. You're welcome. Bye. Have a fine one. Perfect. Very nice local people here. They help you out, even though you don't speak really much uh, Arabic. Service? Go, go bus. Thank you. Bye bye. Okay. I have made it to the go bus, bus station. And it is in front of me. It's a big sign that says go bus. And hopefully this is the place where I need to take the bus to go to the hub. <coughs> Let's see. There's an office there. Hopefully this guy doesn't run me over. Okay. So far so good. Hello, I need the bus to the hub. Yes. Only tomorrow? And now not anymore? No, never. And how do I get to the hub now, today? Uh, how do I go to the hub? Tomorrow. Tomorrow? Today no more? Finish? What about other bus station? Uh, Roysat bus station? Only one bus there? 10.30 a.m. tomorrow. 10.30 a.m. tomorrow. Hey. And when, what time last bus? What time? Yes. One bus, one bus. No, no, last finish. Only one, Only one bus? Okay. More moments later. Okay, now I'm on the street. The go bus station is there. And there was a lady, she told me to go and look for a police station and maybe she can help me and they can help me out. At this point, I don't know anymore. It's 9 o'clock, 9.30 and there's a lot of Russians here. I'm the only one who doesn't understand shit around here. So hopefully I can manage in a way. Much, much later. Okay, I made it now here to the checkpoint. This is the road that goes all the way to Dahab. This is what the lady was mentioning to the police station. And I'm gonna try now to talk to the police guys here to ask if they can help me and find some kind of vehicle to go there. Let's see if I'm lucky or not. 82 kilometers later. It's 12 o'clock at night and I'm now in the middle of nowhere. The police guys were super friendly and they helped me out. They stopped a lot of cars, asking them if they go to Dahab. And in the end, they found the bus and I hopped on it. And now I'm here in the middle of freaking nowhere, trying to see how to find my way to an accommodation, which is somewhere, yes. So that's gonna be fun. Finally, after walking for 20 minutes alone in the desert, 
I finally made it to Dahab, to the main road, and somehow I made it on top of the roof of our hostel. And from here, I can properly enjoy Dahab like I'm supposed to. So that being said, time for me to go. I hope you had an amazing time with me in this video. And don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. And see you in another video directly from Dahab. Bye-bye. Sure.